Cam, it was do or die for you when you made your origin debut last year. <laughs> and it's the same scenario on Sunday night. Yeah, obviously going to be a bit nervous, more a little bit more nervous on Sunday. Um, obviously losing game one in Melbourne, but um, we could take some positives out of, I guess, game one. We were pretty dominant in some stages there, and, but we just fell away at some key moments and key stages of the game, and that's just me and Hunty just doing a little bit better in, in key parts. But I guess um, obviously you get a week. I don't know it's a short turnaround, but obviously all the boys are ready, ready to go, and no injuries at the moment, so. Be a full squad on deck training in the next couple of days, so it'll be really exciting, and hopefully um, we can play a little bit better than in game one. How did you feel you came together with Ben Hunt at halfback? I'm assuming you two probably haven't played that much football together before. <laughs> no, we actually haven't played too much footy together, to be completely honest with you, but in saying that, we're both professional athletes, and we're both in a high, in a high stage of our career at the moment with Origin, and um, we can't be making too many excuses with that. Ben's playing some really good footy, and we're both, we're both runners of the ball, so that's something that we... Um, Pride ourselves on. I just think we just need to be um, a bit more clearer with some some stuff with our, our forwards, but we're doing that in the next couple of days, and um, hopefully we have a game plan for Sunday. It's your first Origin game in Sydney too. <laughs> um, <laughs> your debut was at Suncorp, where everyone was right behind you. It'll be the polar opposite this time around. Yeah, I'll be obviously getting heckled by a couple of Blues fans, um, but I get that at, at Clubland as well, mate. I don't get too many fans liking me from other teams at times, um, but I guess that's just um, people being passionate about their team and. And a lot, a lot of people for us bleed maroon and a lot of people there in New South Wales bleed blue. So they're obviously going to stand behind their team and, and try and do whatever it takes for them to, to win on Sunday. Um, and I just got to just block out the, <laughs> block out the noise and, and that and just worry about myself and worry about our game plan and everything will take it from there. People talk about the passion of Queensland and um, you grew up in Rockhampton in a, in a family that would, would have embraced Origin whenever it came around growing up. What do you... What are your memories and what's the what's the Munster household like on an origin night growing up in Rocky? Oh, obviously mum and them would have got out the crackers and cheese and that and some uh and some fish and that. But look, um, I don't know, um for mum for myself, mum was a big fan of Wally Lewis, um, obviously the king growing up and she used to have videos of VCR back in the day. Um we used to watch them on TV and just watching some tries from him where Gilly and that obviously hit the, hit someone and the ball dislodged and they gave it to Wally and mm. made something out of nothing and I guess watching it from there, Mum's a big fan of him and, and also a big fan of Gilly and that. And yeah, I don't know, it's, it's funny when you say that. Um, I'm obviously in camp with Gilly, so I pinched myself every now and then. But as Mum idolised him, was one of his favourite players, or her favourite players, sorry. And yeah, and then I guess my moment of origin was when um, Queensland started dominating that year, where I think it was Matt King threw the ball to Hodgson, or Hodgson, sorry. And, mm-hmm. And it went to ground, and Darren Lockyer scooped it up and scored. So that was my memory of when it first, when I was first remembering Origin, and, um, and it's just been dominant from since then. And I guess, um, yeah, I guess it's exciting for us new blood to come through and hopefully build on that legacy and hopefully make a name for our, ourselves. We well, all sort of part of that legacy, having won the series last year. That was, I think, in th- that was 13 years ago. That pass you talk about and. Queensland have won 12 series since then. Only once has Queensland dropped the series since that very moment. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Um, it's obviously had a great core and stability in their in their spine um, with Smithy, Bill, GI at fullback every now and then, Darius, and also Cooper having the two halves in the same position for the last 13 years is something that's um, never been probably done before. Um, and obviously. That's why the success they've had. They've obviously been consistent in each and every game, so they haven't had to worry about losing their spot. But I guess me and Honey have got a point to prove and try and um, be consistent like those kind of blokes. I know we're never going to be like them kind of guys. Um, they, those blokes happen once in a lifetime. So all we can do is just do our job for Queensland and do our job for our team and our game plan and everything will take its course from there.